All right, so it's spring again, my favorite time of year. Time to start thinking about planting. And uh, today I'm just gonna do uh, another little demo on uh, how I grow potatoes in a pail, in a five gallon pail. And uh, to demonstrate that, you know, here's what I've got. This is my pail, just a regular five gallon bucket. In the bottom of it, I've drilled some holes for drainage. Into the bottom of the bucket, we're going to put these rocks. And then I'm going to lay this landscape cloth above it to keep uh, the soil or the, the ground I'm using from going out to the holes. So we're just going to take these, lay them in the bucket. Throw a landscape cloth in there. Doesn't have to be pretty. Just like this. Now I'm going to take this over to my worm bins. And I use my worm castings. I manufacture my own worm castings. This is one of my bins. I put all sorts of cardboard paper. Uh, it starts out as a, a manure cake. Feed it to the worms. And the worms just eat it up. They turn it into this spectacular worm castings. Stuff grows, anything you plant, it just grows like weeds. Uh, an example, here's some arugula. This arugula was planted from seed three weeks ago. That's three weeks worth of growth, and it hasn't even been out in a greenhouse. That's just been sitting on a window ledge inside the house. It gets a couple hours of sun a day. Uh, I just transplanted it today in these bigger pots, so but that's a whole other story. So I'm going to fill this bucket real quick. And I'm just going to put enough in here to cover up, you know, to give me about two inches. So I got my pail. I got about two inches of worm castings in there. I left everything in there. There's chunks of mulch, leaves. There's some old leaves in here, stems. Um, that stuff just acts as it just continues to decay and break down. And of course, there's full of worms as well. So the worms will just continue to do their work. And they won't bother the potatoes because the worms will only eat what's dead and decaying. Now what I do with the potatoes is this. I get the potatoes that are, are butted out and I got some, I've got some red some red potatoes here <clears throat> that are nicely butted out. These are buttercream potatoes. I've never heard of buttercream potatoes but my wife got them. They're 100% uh, they're organic. I've had them sitting out for a couple weeks. They uh, started to rot a little bit. But all you have to do now is just take a knife and you just want to slice off this bud like that. That's what you're left with. And then this is how you, you just you just take it like this, lay it in the soil, cover it up, and you let it go. So I'm going to set this in here. And I put it down about an inch, cover it up. Now I'm going to take another one. And these potatoes, you can see they've got a bud here, there's a bud here, bud here, bud here. All you need is a nice chunk of potato flesh on there, and you can use any one of these buds. I mean, even this one, it's a small one, but if you cut it off, it'll continue to grow. So from that one potato that's like half rotten, I've got three potato plants. Actually, yeah, three potato plants that I'm going to get out of there. So I'm going to take these. And I usually put three nice sized buds in there. And these are kind of small, so I'm going to set those on the side. And I got a couple others here. Here's another one that I cut off. And I'm going to set this one in there. So 
So everything's nice and covered now. Three potato, three potato buds in there. Now as those grow, uh, those will start to pop through in about a week. Uh, as they pop through, what I like to do is I like to let them get about oh, three, four inches tall. Then I'll take a couple, another handful of my, uh, my worm castings and I'll cover them up and I'll cover up those uh, sprouts with about an inch or so of, a, of a compost or whatever you're using topsoil, you know, good, uh, good soil. Just want to make sure it's, it's got a little bit of sand for drainage. Uh, you, don't, you don't want to saturate it, you don't want mud. And uh, in uh, 80 to 100 days, this pail will be full. You know, I'll just keep, keep inching it up as, it, as, the, as the plant grows and uh, topping it off with, with soil. And in, like I said, 80 to, 80 to 100 days, I should have anywhere from 10 to 15 pounds of uh, potatoes in there that are going to be all, well, they'll be a little better than this because that's about, I guess, about the size of a buttercream potato. If you're growing red potatoes, you'll have 10 to 15 pounds about this size without, of course, the big, uh, the big butt on top. And for those of you who've never grown your own potatoes and eaten them, they are absolutely the best tasting potatoes you'll ever have. That's it for now. I'll post updates on this as they go along, as, uh, as they uh, bud and they grow, and uh, keep you advised. Thanks for watching.